All right, welcome to today's show. Let's talk about the three rules of discipline. I'm gonna tell you this right now. You can listen to a lot of podcasts, you can read a lot of books, you can have a lot of mentors, you can have the greatest ideas, you can raise capital, but if you do not have discipline, you will lose. Listen closely to what I'm about to say. I'm on my 15,000 step walk here in Central Park, and uh, I'm just, I wanna get to the point quick. This is gonna be a, a quick episode. So it can be action or information packed. Okay, step number one, understand the only two long lasting organizations in history. There's only two. My mentor, Alan Nation said, listen Ty, if you study history, only two things pass the test of time. Only two things. Even the stock market, the original Dow Jones Industrial group of companies in the late 1800s, none of those companies still exist on the Dow Jones, meaning none of them were able to last more than 100, 120 years. They were not stable, why? Because they were not built on the foundation of what? And I'm gonna tell you what the answer is, discipline. The two longest lasting organizational structures in history are family and the military, that's it. So the way I've structured my businesses is to be 50% family, 50% military. There's restaurants in France you can go eat at that were founded in the 1500s. They passed from family to family. Why does family last? Well, because family by its very nature is the passing on of DNA and and uh, therefore has this link to the past. But you're not going to be able to hire only your family. You're not going to be able to make money only with your family most likely. So what does that leave you with? Military. The Greek army, the Persian army, Iran, these have been around for a thousand plus years. Why do they survive? It's not just because mankind likes to go to war, although that may be part of it. It's because they're hyper-disciplined structures. So whatever you're trying to do right now, if it's not working out for you, you could blame the book, you could blame the mentor, you could blame the business idea, but you may wanna look inward and go, am I building something that's built to last? Am I building something that's built around a rock or is my foundation built on the sand? Am I a disciplined person? Both emotionally, mentally, and physically. There's three areas you have to be. So that brings me to point number two. Understand that there's a three-part approach to discipline that has to be taken, okay? And what I find with people in general is we're usually very strong at one, average at the other, and weak at the third. You cannot be weak at any. A chain is only as strong as its strongest link. Wherever you fail, you got a helicopter? I've been on a helicopter. A lot of people die in helicopters. That's why I don't go. A billionaire just died, a West Virginia coal billionaire just died in a helicopter. You know why? Because a helicopter has many moving parts. Not only the main rotor, but it has that rotor in the back. And it has the tilt forward or the tilt backwards. You know why they crash a lot? Well, because there's a lot of moving parts and it's hard to manage a lot of moving parts. Well, guess what? Making money is a ton of moving parts. It's a ton of moving parts. And that's why 90% of business owners fail within five years. 90% of people, everybody wants to be rich, but very few people are rich. Why? Because they lack military style discipline. I'm not saying you have to be exactly like the military, but I'm saying you have to understand that basic structure and keep that metaphor in mind. Again, that's point number one. Law number one. Law number two is there's three parts to this discipline. Don't just think the fact that you, I had a guy the other day DM me and uh, he's in great shape. He's like a professional gymnast. Then he was, I had posted how I was doing some cardio and he kind of was like jokingly making fun of me like, oh yeah, you really do cardio. And he was comparing me to himself, which is true. He's in better shape than me. But I wrote him back, I said, my friend, I'm a businessman, not a gymnast. I gotta keep, I can't keep the shape that I would have if I was only focused on being a gymnast. I'm balancing multiple things. And he wrote back and he said, oh, you're right. (laughs) It's harder to make money than it is to be a gymnast. I'm not sure that's true, but the point being, you're not going to be able to have the luxury of just focusing on going to the gym. You might be a rock, a machine with staying in shape, but how are you? with the second part, emotional. Can you stay calm in the storm? That's emotional discipline. Can you quiet your mind, quiet the anxiety, quiet the fear? Ray Dalio, I've talked about this recently, you know, 1983 failed as a hedge fund manager. 
lost it all, lost the money for his clients, lost his own money, had to lay off all his employees, went in almost into a state of depression, but he found, he started meditating, I think he did TM, and he built mental and emo, I'm sorry, emotional discipline. And now he's worth $20 billion. Stay calm, can you do that? Because if you have physical discipline, and I'm, but no emotional discipline, one will counteract the other and it doesn't matter that you're physically disciplined. And then third, you have to have mental discipline. And what is that mental discipline? Well, things, for example, like, are you growing your brain? Are you reading a book every day? Are you reading for five minutes a day? Are you disciplined in how you think? Are you logical? Do you start your day with a yellow notepad, writing out, sitting in a chair, as I've talked about for almost five or 10 years now, sitting in a chair for 10 minutes a day. One of the great philosophers, Pascal, said all of mankind's problems could be solved if they could only sit alone in a room for 10 minutes and think. Are you doing that? Do you have mental discipline to think through or are you just scatterbrained in whatever is the shiniest object, whatever, is, whatever wheel is squeaking, that's the only one you focus on? No, have all three and then you will complete the circle of discipline. Number three, and lastly, rule of discipline is that the universe doesn't care if you have it. What do I mean by that? Well, look, here's the hard and uh, cold fact about life that you realize once you become an adult, nobody cares. So let's say you choose to ignore what I'm saying and you say, you know what? It doesn't matter. That's my weakness, Ty. I've just always been, you know, an anxious person. Great. Here's to the double-edged sword of no one cares, meaning no one in the universe really cares. No adult is gonna call you out and call you up. It's not like in elementary school where kids laugh at you for your weaknesses. No, nobody cares. But the downside is the universe doesn't go, you know what, here's a person who's pretty disciplined physically and mentally, but not very much emotionally. You know what, I'm gonna overlook it and I'm gonna let them reach their goals and success in life. Nope, the universe is a harsh taskmaster, sadly kind of like the laws of inertia you know if you're in a car and you're a really good person you're a saint you're the nicest person on earth you don't wear a seatbelt you hit there's a car accident you fly through the windshield the universe does not look at your intentions it doesn't care if you're a saint or a criminal a, a serial killer if he's wearing a seatbelt survives and the nicest person in the world dies and so with if you choose to ignore what I'm saying about discipline just to understand one thing um, the universe will not make an exception for you and say, you know what? Basically every successful person in history, everybody who won at life and got their goals was pretty darn disciplined. But you know what? There's this person, Bob Smith or Jennifer, you know, she lives in Iowa. She really means well, really good person. And so, you know what? We're just gonna give them a pass. The laws of success and the need for discipline, they just don't apply because I like this person. You think that's gonna happen? No, the universe is irrespective of people, irrespective of your intentions. Many people have intentions, few people reach them. So, here's my closing advice to you. Wake up, have a routine, test many different ones, stick to the plan. If you're on a plan and you wanna experiment with waking up at six in the morning, do it, no matter how you feel. That's mental discipline. When today something stressful happens that you normally would freak out, choose to be disciplined and go, let me stay calm. I'm going to stay calm. Say it to yourself a thousand times if you need be. Buy the Calm app, the Headspace app. Learn to quiet your emotions. And lastly, exercise every day. Get the physical. Even if you just walk, for those of you super out of shape, every person in my company that's super out of shape, or I'm sorry, my friends, not really my company, I tell them, look, walk. Walk 10,000 to 15,000 steps. Uh, build up to it, start with a thousand steps. Every one of them gets in good shape or better shape. Discipline. Then once your body's ready, hit the weights. Discipline in how you eat. One of the Gracies told me, the founder of uh, the UFC, one of the Gracies, Orion Gracie, Red Belt, he said, Ty, one of the best disciplines is when there's five pieces of pizza and you're on your cheat day, eat four. I said, why? I still eating pizza. He said, yes. But the pizza once in a while is not going to hurt you. But the discipline to be able to resist that last piece, that's priceless. That's what makes you a jiu-jitsu master. That will make you a jiu-jitsu master of life. So good luck out there. 
by the way, before you end, leave me a comment here, a review with what you want me to record next. I'm reading people's stuff. I'm using it for my next idea. Check out tylopen.com, by the way. Make sure you join my daily mentor tip email list. It'll help you be disciplined. Read them every day. It's free. There's good content. tylopen.com right at the top. Join that newsletter. All right. See you on the next episode.